what is going on radar force today I am actually refilming the video I made of the original DBZ in Dragon Ball soundtracks in the United States uh, that's including the original USA for Dragon Ball and the original USA for Dragon Ball Z the rest are uh, Bruce's music and uh, I made this originally because I thought I had them all but there's actually two limited edition soundtracks from Bruce and uh, I believe there are, are there's only two limited editions. I do not think there's any more out there. I will get this. I will discuss this further in just a minute. So to reiterate this, we have the original USA for Dragon Ball, the original USA for Dragon Ball Z. We have the limited edition Best of Dragon Ball Z Volume One for DBZ, the Best of Dragon Ball Z Volume One Standard Edition, the Best of Dragon Ball Z Two, Best of Dragon Ball Z Three, Four, Five, and Six. Then we have the limited edition Dragon Ball Z Trunks Compendium. Then we have the then we have the standard edition to Trunks. Then we have the Android 18, the Android Sagas, and then we have Dragon Ball Z Boo, the Majin Sagas. Okay, here is the Dragon Ball uh, USA TV uh, soundtrack recording by Peter Baring. Uh, this is the just the normal Dragon Ball um, music you'd hear in like the opening, I believe, opening and closing, and maybe a little bit in the show. Um, yeah, it's got the main title and the end title and all that good stuff. Uh, this one's not my favorite, uh, but it, it is worth noting. I actually need to replace uh, the plastic insert because it is not holding the disc well. I forgot to show the insert for the Dragon Ball one, if you want to read it, and the Dragon Ball Z original USA soundtracks. Uh, just pause it if you want to read it. But that is the insides. Nothing special about that. Well, they're all special in their own respect. This is a, a pretty a rare one, if anything, and a pretty expensive one, if I must say so myself. Uh, the DBZ uh, original USA t uh, TV soundtrack. Uh, and this one's probably rare just for the fact that it has Rock the Dragon on it. Uh, and here is the inside. Um, like I said, this one's pretty rare to get. Uh, so if you're trying to collect these, it's one you need to look out for. And here is the uh, DBZ one. Which it, that's actually a little bit thicker. If you want to read this one too, here's a this sign, the middle and the end here. If you would like to read that, and the back which you already saw. Uh, but yeah, that is that's the inserts, and that is it for the original television soundtracks for Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. Now we're going to Bruce's music. This is the this is the well, if you can't see special edition, uh, volume one. Uh, and this one, I got originally. And I didn't did not think there was a standard edition to this, so I'm I'm lucky, I guess. Uh, I don't know how rare these are. I do know there's only a thousand of them produced, uh, and there is 25 tracks on this one. But uh, let, let me get the sleeve out, and I'll just you know show you. Uh, and what's I'll show you a misprint type deal here. Over here, it has the uh, text of him like you know telling his story behind making these discs because he wasn't going to. But I have 659 out of 1,000. So that tell, that shows you that it's a special edition. And also the cover it says it itself. On the front it says special limited edition American soundtrack. Uh, now here's the standard edition to volume 1. As you can see it doesn't say special edition. And it, it's, the text is a little different. Uh, same uh, 25 soundtracks though. But if you open up the insert here. If I get it out. It has this text here. It's different, and what's weird is, on this text, uh, this is actually the, this is the little message he gives in all his soundtracks. Uh, but this message here is the message from Volume Two, because it says, "Here are your 31 tracks of your favorites." When we know good well, there's only 25 tracks. But it also says right here, it's, uh, it says that if you, if a track is missing here, it would be on Volume Three, which is telling me that this is the Volume Two version. Uh, and I will show you Volume Two in a second here. But that's it for Volume 1, Standard Edition. Uh, volume 2, uh, like I said, the Volume 1 had the same text in the beginning. Here is uh, Volume 2. In the back, it has 31 tracks, as mentioned in the last insert. Like, he uh, just copied it. Uh, here's the insert that I was mentioning. It has the same text. See, here are your 31 favorite tracks. And if you find a track missing, it'll be on Volume 3. So, like, I don't know why, if that was an accident or what happened, but... 
Uh, they copied the same text from volume two onto the standard edition of, of volume one. And it, like, it says 31 tracks when there's only 25 on the volume one, but there's 31 on volume two. So just to clarify that there, and that is volume two, best of the DBZ. Uh, volume three, and this one has 40 soundtracks or tracks in it. Uh, and one through four are pretty easy to get, but you know, it does have his own text in the middle, which I'm not going to read, but you can do it if you want. You can pause here and read. Uh, but that is it for volume three, best of DBZ. Now volume four of best of DBZ. This one has 39 tracks. This is one of my favorites too. It has the DBZ finale music, which is amazing. Uh, volume four. And here is the insert with his own little special deal here. You can read it if you want. And they also advertise like the releases starting with this one. So, uh, so it's all, obviously at this point they have one through four trunks of the Modern Sagas and Android 18 released. So this is when they start advertising. I don't really know the actual uh, release date uh, or not the release date, the release order. Uh, now to the freaking rare freaking volume five. This one, this one took me forever to find. Uh, volume five, best of DBZ. This one has 40 tracks uh, as well or whatever the last one was. It has 40. It's, it's, it's nice. I like long ones. Uh, and then the uh, insert here with his little message once again. If you want to read that. Now to the also super rare uh, best of DBZ volume 60 lost tracks of DBZ. Super rare and I'm super uh, stoked that I have it. This one has freaking 52 uh, tracks, which is also amazing. I haven't finished listening to this one, but so far it is amazing. And the insert here, and the his last hoorah of his uh, music right here. He never released any more after this um, on CD. But there is, I think he, yeah, the same message is on volume 6, I'm pretty sure. M mainly, not all of it, but the last paragraph I believe is. Uh, read it if you want. Uh, it's pretty entertaining. I read them all. And now to, I believe, Trunks. Okay, and here we have the Trunks Special Limited Edition uh, version. Uh, as like the Best of Volume 1, it has the super small, narrow text. Uh, same, basically the same theme, except it says Trunks uh, Compendium 1. Uh, the spine is basically the same the text is slightly smaller as you can see to the standard here uh, but yeah uh, the back is basically the same just just smaller text the UPC code is actually the same uh, but other than that there is a I believe the the disc and the sounds the, the tracks are exactly the same the only difference to my knowledge is the uh, it's a limited edition uh, out of 2000, I have 1237. Uh, the only difference to my knowledge, let me get the other one out just to compare. Pretty sure there is no difference. So here's the other one. Yeah, it's exactly the same, except it just doesn't have the limited edition count to it. Oh, but as I was stating earlier, I believe the trunk soundtrack was the very first soundtrack released. And that's why the Dragon Ball Z Volume 1 had a limited edition. He did limited editions for the first two of his soundtracks because I guess he didn't think they were going to sell well. He did 2,000 for the first one and then he did 1,000 for the second, uh, for Volume 1, which I'll show you right quick why I believe there are no more limited editions. See, on, on, when I'm doing research, it says the Trunks came out in like 2003, but it, it's actually a 2001 release. See, right here it says the next CD will be the first volume of the best of Dragon Ball Z soundtracks and he's also saying that the character CD is a popular hero release more of those he did Majin Buu and he did uh, Android 18 but why why I, th I think Trunks was the very first one released by Bruce and then I believe uh, DBZ volume 1 was the second one released so I do not think there's any more limited editions he just released it for the first two soundtracks he ever made he released limited editions 
I see no reason to think there's any more limited editions of like Android 18, Volume 2, Majin Sagas, anything like that. I don't, no reason for me to believe it. But yeah, uh, as, as from seeing what he wrote on those, I can only believe that he did it on the Trunks and the Volume 1 because... The next CD was Best of Dragon Ball Z 1. But anyway, that's it for Trunks Special Edition. Uh, now on to the standard. So we have, yeah, so we have Trunks Volume 1, which he only released one, but it's cool. Don't make it, don't mistake it for uh, Best of DBZ Volume 1. This one has 24 tracks. Two of them are full episodes. I'm not sure if he had a message on this one or not, but we're going to get there. Yeah, so yeah, he has a pretty lengthy message here. Read it if you want. And Android 18, the Android Sagas, uh, my least favorite, which if you own it, you'll probably know why. Uh, this one, this one's confusing. It has three tracks on it, but like the second track is 25 minutes long. So it's a bunch of like Android tracks in one, so I don't really know how many tracks are actually in there. Uh, I don't know why they went this route with this one. Super annoying. But yeah, uh, and here is the message if you want to read. And that is it for the Android 18, Android Sagas uh, soundtrack. And last but not least, the Majin Saga is personally probably one of my uh, favorites. Definitely. It's a tie for sure, if not outbeating it. This one is super rare to get as well. Uh, this has 31 tracks from the uh, Majin uh, Boo era. A uh, super cool disc as well. And I believe he has a note in here as well. If you want to read that, yep, there you go. <clears throat> and that is it for the 12 soundtracks for the United States uh, releases. And uh, let me get them all back out here. Okay, guys, and that's it for this episode of Product Review. Uh, there are... I already made this video previously, and like I said, I had to reiterate because I actually found another one that I didn't think existed. But yeah, guys, there's a total of 13 soundtracks, and uh, I do not believe there's any more to my knowledge. I did a extensive research, and I could not find uh, another limited edition, So I and I think these two are the only ones. But yeah, guys, if you really enjoyed this video, please subscribe, consider hitting that button, and uh, like, comment, and um, check other videos out, guys. And until then, guys, uh, I'll see you on the next Dragon Ball video. Goodbye, my friends.